This is your daily devotional from the inspired word of God. October 16th, to be like Jesus. Christians, to be strictly temperate, governed by principle. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. The Apostle Paul writes, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all? But one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. There are many in the world who indulge pernicious habits. Appetite is the law that governs them, and because of their wrong habits, the moral sense is clouded and the power to discern sacred things is to a great extent destroyed. But it is necessary for Christians to be strictly temperate. They should place their standard high. Temperance in eating, drinking, and dressing is essential. Principle should rule instead of appetite or fancy. Those who eat too much or whose food is of an objectionable quality are easily led into dissipation and into other foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. The laborers together with God should use every jot of their influence to encourage the spread of true temperance principles. It means much to be true to God. He has claims upon all who are engaged in his service. He desires that mind and body be preserved in the best condition of health. Every power and endowment under the divine control and as vigorous as careful, strictly temperate habits can make them. We are under obligation to God to make an unreserved consecration of ourselves to Him. Body and soul with all the faculties appreciated as His entrusted gifts to be employed in His service. All our energies and capabilities are to be constantly strengthened and improved during this probationary period. Only those who appreciate these principles and have been trained to care for their bodies intelligently and in the fear of God should be chosen to take responsibilities in this work. Every church needs a clear sharp testimony, giving the trumpet a certain sound. Maranatha, Jesus is coming soon.